the shapes of denim, from its heritage to its future. Strong, progressive, rebellious, young. Originally created for mine workers, cowboys, and sailors, blue jeans became a symbol of youth and rebellion, until finally turning into the most democratic garment in history. But how are they made? It all starts here in a cotton field, where the white balls burst open and are harvested to be spun into fine, soft white threads. In the cotton mill, the balls are ginned and cleaned to extract the fibers. Fibers go through a long series of processes, from carding to spinning, that lead to the creation of a single pure white thread. But what makes jeans so special is their indigo color, which is affected in this phase of the manufacturing. When you think of indigo, you think of denim. The cotton yarns are soaked in a mixture of water, pigment, and fixing agents, so the color is only absorbed onto the surface of the warp thread, while the core stays white. Today, weaving is a high-tech process. The heddles move up and down, separating the warp yarns and leaving space for the shuttle. Once the shuttle has passed through, the combs compress the yarns. In classic denim, the classical warp-weft ratio is the beloved 3 to 1. As you can see, the production process is highly automated. Once the fabric is ready, it goes through quality control to assure its compliance with standards. The newborn denim fabrics are rolled up and the rolls are stacked in the factory's warehouse. Now they're ready to be styled. 